The red imported fire ant is one of the world's worst invasive species. When they swarm in large numbers, they can kill much bigger animals through their painful sting. But fire ants are opportunistic feeders, with everything from crops to beehives to livestock known to fall victim. Red imported fire ants are a super pest. So if this super pest is allowed to spread uncontrollably, we would see a real impact in Australia. Red imported fire ants were first detected at a port in Brisbane in 2001. Researchers at the Centre of Excellence for Biosecurity Risk Analysis say the pest has the potential to drive some plant and animal species to extinction. The key to stopping that from happening is to detect ant colonies as quickly as possible. The first option is to send out a ground crew and they try to visually detect nests. The second option is to use odour detection dogs. They are really good with sniffing out those immature fire ant nests. And the third option is to use cameras that you mount on a helicopter and they take images that you can later process in the lab and any fire ant nests might show up as a yellow spot on your image. The red imported fire ant is just one of many threats on the radar of Zebra's researchers. The modelling that we've done here at Zebra is one of a kind, doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. Um, we're the only lab really that is modelling more than one pest or disease in the landscape at a particular time period and that significantly increases the complexity of the modelling task. But it's worth the effort. Biosecurity safeguards our way of life and our bottom line. For every dollar invested, the average return is estimated at $30. What you care about is not the risk ranking when you're looking at rates of return, but risk reduction. And that's something like what a rate of return measures. It's measuring if I spend a dollar, I can avoid $30 in damages. Research shows the potential damage to our economy would be around $672 billion over 50 years if biosecurity didn't exist. $672 billion. Industries like agriculture, forestry, fisheries and tourism would all take severe hits as would Australia's unique ecosystem. That's why we have a biosecurity system in place, but because we want to continue to enjoy a natural environment, we want to have clean, green, healthy food, free of pesticides, and we want to have a really strong and productive economy. And having a really strong and vibrant biosecurity system ensures that all of those things can continue to happen.